This video will cover Section 2302 of the CARES Act, which is the Delay of Employer Social Security Tax. Under the CARES Act, an employer may delay the payment of employer Social Security taxes for up to two years in order to increase cash flow. Deferring the payment of the employer portion of Social Security tax is essentially an interest-free loan administered by the IRS. As an example, if your payroll expense was $20,000 per payroll, under normal circumstances, the business would owe $1,240 in Social Security tax, which is the 6.2% times $20,000. For this example, the $1,240 would then be retained by the business to immediately increase cash flow. The expense is recorded through the normal payroll procedures and provides the same tax benefits regardless of the delayed payment of employer Social Security tax. We know this raises several questions which we will review in this video. So first, do you need to inform the IRS that you want to take advantage of the Deferred Employer Social Security Tax under the CARES Act? Well, in no case will employers be required to make a special election through the IRS to be able to defer payments of employer Social Security tax. The IRS states that a business is treated as making timely payments for the employer's portion of Social Security taxes accrued and expensed between March 27th of 2020 and December 31st of 2020 if 50% of the amount deferred is paid by December 31st of 2021 and the remaining 50% is paid December 31st of 2022. As a note, failure to deposit penalties will be assessed for any payments made after the due dates. So how does the deferral of employer Social Security help your business increase cash flow? Well, as an employer, when you defer employer Social Security tax under the CARES Act, the tax payment on each payroll will be reduced by the employer's share of Social Security tax, and there will be a journal entry to record the deferred amounts. For example, if an employee had $5,000 in 941 liability on payroll before deferral and 500 employer Social Security deferral, the tax payment would be $4,500. In this example, the $500 is retained by the business to immediately increase cash flow and is due at a later date. So how do you track the amount deferred and how will it get paid? Well, the deferred employed Social Security tax will be tracked on the balance sheet. Journal entries will record the deferred amount each payroll. The deferred amounts will be coded to GL 2101, Deferred Social Security Tax CARES Act, with each payroll. From the example before, there was $500 in deferred employee Social Security. So the journal entries for that particular payroll would be a debit for the total transaction and a $500 credit for the deferred employer Social Security tax. The deferred tax payments will be set with an appropriate future date and will be paid by RSI. From the example, the $500 deferred Social Security tax would result in a $250 payment due on December 31st of 2021, and the remaining $250 will be due on December 31st of 2022. These payments will be processed for payment by RSI one to two days prior to the due date to ensure a timely payment. It is imperative to budget for the two future payments. The total deferred amount will accumulate on the balance sheet in GL 2101 as seen below. Here are a few other items to note. Section 2302 of the CARES Act states, a business shall not be eligible to delay the payment of employer Social Security that has indebtedness forgiven under the Paycheck Protection Program. RSI is not in a position to be offering legal advice, and this webinar should not be taken as such, but we do want you to be aware of the stipulation in the CARES Act so that you can discuss with counsel or your CPA before we activate the Social Security deferral. The IRS states employers who have received a PPP loan but whose loan has not yet been forgiven may defer payment of the employer's share of Social Security tax through the date the lender issues a decision to forgive the loan without incurring failure to deposit and failure to pay penalties. 
Once an employer receives a decision from its lender that its PPP loan is forgiven, the employer is no longer eligible to defer the payment of the employer's share of Social Security tax after that date. However, the amount of the deposit and payment of the employer's share of Social Security tax that was deferred through the date that the PPP loan is forgiven continues to be deferred and 50% is still due on December 31, 2021, and the other 50% due on December 31st of 2022. You can see more on this at the link shown. To request Social Security deferral under the CARES Act, you can submit a support request stating that you would like to defer employee Social Security tax under the CARES Act. RSI will only know when your loan is forgiven by you notifying your RSI team. Immediately after receiving notice from your lender that your loan has been forgiven in full or partially, send a support request to your RSI tax team and request that your employer Social Security deferral be stopped immediately and payment of employer Social Security resume. There are several advantages to deferring employer Social Security tax, including the deferral functions like an interest-free loan that is administered by the IRS. There are no penalties for failure to deposit and failure to pay taxes if paid by the due date. And even small loans can help get your business through this crisis. The primary disadvantage to deferring your employer's Social Security tax would be failure to budget for the future payments, which could have an adverse impact to cash flow. Make sure you budget and keep an eye on those due dates. It's also important to note that failure to deposit and failure to pay penalties may apply if the due dates are not strictly followed. Please reach out to your RSI tax team with any questions.